actually, let me let's go to the comments now because um before we get into Friday, which was the action packed day with Lil D and all that, let's just go to the comments, all right? Uh, let me see what the people saying for me right quick. Let me see what the people are talking about. Uh, okay, not too many, not too many. Um, hit the like button, please. What's going on, Brina? Uh, Kez said, y'all hit the like button. Fact, see that that was shady. Uh, Beck Free Jeffrey said, Woody's, Woody's description of that man was accurate. I'll call him Squirrel Brain. Crawford Long Middle School. Yeah, that's the school. Chaz Focus said, what up, Kilo? I don't know if that's juice, if that's how you spell it. I'm just saying, it. yeah, 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 that's me. That's how you spell it. Um, let me see. Cedar said, main derivative with no notes. He appeared to be checked out, yeah? Please hit the like button. Cedar said, did the state say missing discovery part of the hack? I think they have said that. They, they really haven't given any explanation. They just leave it up to the judges to say, well, there was a hack, but they didn't actually say why this stuff is missing. It should be chain. Uh, Vanderveer said it should be chain of custody as well. Rock Ree said free Jeffrey until Jeff free. Oh, that's kind of fire because his name is Jeffrey. <laughs> Why did I think of that? Free Jeff until Jeff free. That's fire. Ray Star said, what up? Beck said G Baker was one of the cops who testified. Love originally made it seem like the one who could explain their issues with the witness, but then just testified about some arrest in 2015. Facts. Yeah, I realized that. G Baker was on the stand, but he testified to an old arrest. Can't hear you very well. Can y'all not hear me? Why nobody told me that? Fiddle Didi, Fiddle Didi said, can't hear you very well. Y'all let me know. Ray Star said, I can't believe they let him go to a hotel with his phone, with two phones. Uh, you need a sim, said Whitaker, stress facts. Uh, Ray says she hates love. Yeah, no, she's been tearing love up and love has been extremely subdued lately. Uh, Shea67 says uh, in, in another chat, they said he's actually has an ankle monitor and he's at his mom's house now. Dang, how they find that out that quick? Uh, Dynasty Girl said, listen to Max Cross with the pro professor. Nothing but flirting, upon, uh, flirting on purpose. Check his questions. Yeah, no, Max Cross definitely like black women. I kind of gathered that from... Um, from just watching him. He likes black women. I don't know if his wife is black, but he likes black women or he he liked them at some point. I don't know. Kaz said the judge full of ish. She throw all them threats around and don't back up none of them. Love no she ain't bought what she be talking about. That's a fact. They playing good cop, bad cop. Whole time Whitaker is playing bad cop, but she's still helping the state out. It should have been a mistrial a long time ago. Ray Star said Monday's problem uh, will be he wants a lawyer. You think so? Kaz said, like and subscribe, please. Thank you. Uh, Black Butterfly said, I thought she said he was older than me. He's way he. Oh, he said he was older than me. I thought she said he molded me. OK, maybe. Uh, House of Brand said facts. Uh, Vanderveer said she spelled her last name wrong when she took the stand. I didn't even notice that. Uh, Z Johnson said true. Nelson said, what's good? Y'all hit that like facts. Vanderveer says she still go. Yeah, she go. Vanderveer said, Kel was trapped in the closet. D. Dotson once said, don't the detective with the wrong crime scene report? I don't know what we're talking about there. Ray said, now we'll, now they will really waste time because they have to witness. They ha wait, wait, wait. They have to have witnesses go until 530. Yeah. Beck said, we can hear you. I hear you just fine. We hear you. Thugger Daily posted the paperwork. Oh, okay. His, oh, his wife is black. Okay, see, I was about to, because because I forget who I seen him interacting with, and I think I seen him do an interview. I don't know what it was, but it made me feel like he had a black woman. I don't remember what it was, but but I definitely got that vibe. And if they say his his wife is black, then um that makes sense to me because um he definitely acts like a white man with a black wife. I'm not gonna lie. I actually think that um Brian still recognized me today. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, he, he, he didn't, when he, when he, Brian still seen me in the hallway, he said, what's up to me. It didn't seem like a, what's up as we was just walking past each other. We was not walking past each other. You understand? I was actually standing in the window, looking out at the sky because, you know what I mean? And he was like, he had just left out the bathroom, whatever, washing his hand. And it's like, he was walking kind of towards me. Like he wanted me to see him. I turn around, look at him and he like, what's up? I said, Hey, how you doing? And then he's like smiling and walked off. It's like he was trying to, um, I don't know if he was trying to get my attention. Or not. He definitely wasn't trying to get my attention, but it felt like he was, must have recognized me or something. I don't know. 
Yeah, I was in the court today. I was in the court today. So now that we, we are at Friday now, and it's time to talk about Friday. And I'm going to tell you about Friday from when I walked in. Uh, what's going on, Coco? Now, Friday, I walks in here, right? <laughs> I, I walks into this joint on Friday. I did a video on Brian Steele back in like December telling Brian Steele he needs to update his website. It was a funny video, but I, I was serious though. Brian Steele makes far too much money to have a website the way his website is. I did a video on it. It probably had 25 views, like whatever. But you know what I mean? And Shark also was staring at me in the court too. I think he might've noticed me. I actually talked to Mr. Kokomo. I asked him, hey, do you do interviews? He walked off on me kind of crazy but I'm not mad at him because his answer was no. He said no and just walked away, which is cool, which is cool. Mr. Kokomo is going to come out of this thing a star. He's a law student. He's a photographer, all of that. So shout out to him. But he's like, nah. Well, he didn't even say no. He just shook his head and walked away, right? But anyway, um, so let's go back and read some of these comments here. Uh, let's see here. Was his family there? Let me see. Hold on. Oh, we got to go back some more. Uh, Annabelle said, I literally thought you was up north every time I tapped in on your channel. I'm just from up north, but I live in Atlanta now. He, pro I, live, I live in the area, the zip code that Fonnie Willis lives in. She lives around me. Coco said he, he probably got a crush on Miss Sylvia. He always picking with her. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a crush on Miss Sylvia. And, and if y'all mess with Miss Sylvia, y'all just throw in the chat, hey, Miss Sylvia, tap in with Kilo at the regular podcast because I would love to talk to her. And I would show back up to the court and link with Sylvia. I would show back up, link with Sylvia. This is what I mean. Sylvia's so close with these people. She ate lunch with Shannon Stilwell's family. Like, she's part of the family now. Like, they have, in, they have ingratiated her into the family. Like, y'all tap... Let Miss Sylvia know that I rock with her if she uh, down to talk and all that. Yeah, him and Miss Sylvia used to coalesce together at various high profile black celebrity trials, R. Kelly 2 trial. So you talking about back in 2008, like the first trial? 2000, um, R. Kelly 2 trials and Tory Lane's trial, but now Sylvia has gone past him. Justice for Miss Love's chair, they seem divorced to me. Facts. Pink adjuster. When, when, they, when he first walked into in, um, the building, when he first walked in the courtroom, I thought that he was Miss Sylvia's partner. That's how close they were sitting. So, uh, Pink Justice said they kicked Little Sprinkle right off the stand. Yeah, no, the judge said if the if Quindaria Zachary gets here, we're gonna take him immediately. We're not gonna make him wait for nobody. We'll get anybody off the stand for Quindaria Zachary. She said that. Annabelle said, "Oh, that's so sad." Coco said, "Annabelle, I always rewatch Miss Sylvia, so I don't see chat, but she needs to back up." Um, Pick a Justin, you know they had to literally pry Sprinkle off that witness stand. Sprinkle loved talking, don't he? Ray Stoss said he bought lunch, then got fired. Paris said the defense wants everyone to post to post takes of love making faces to the jury throughout the trial. Oh, that's another thing. Miss Love is extremely animated up in there. Like she is making faces, gestures, everything the entire time. She's never with a straight face. She is letting it be known what she thinks about what's happening. What it don't matter what it is. It's either a laugh, a smile, or like she's making faces the whole time. So I'm sure the jury is looking at her trying to gauge what she's thinking. Or 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 feeling like either they agree or disagree with whatever face she's making. Starfish and Coffee said the good stuff is Gaither living with the Meeky and Garlington auntie. She didn't need notes. She had the info straight from the source. What does the defense know? Facts. The defense knows a lot, actually, because they also have people that are insiders telling them stuff about things. Now, let me see. Kogel said, oh, so because it was wearing off, Ray Stoss said, can you hear Love's chair? I actually didn't hear it. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't hear it um, in the courtroom. Michelle, wait. Are you what the fudge? Wait, what? D. Dotson said his lawyer said he's been using drugs for 30 years and that man only 31. D. Dotson, what they were trying to say is that he has sickle cell his whole life. So he has had to deal with pain medication since he was a baby, which that's what he meant. Unita said, I bet Quindaria's daddy cussed demon love out. She, he said something clearly. Baby K, do y'all think he fired the lawyer because he was working for the state or because the lawyer wanted to re 
wanted to be released. Kind of like Caleb Bumpus and Woody's situation. No, that's not what happened. He, that lawyer, was trying to work. He was trying to do his thing for this for this client, Quindary Zachary. Quindary Zachary and his whole family felt like the lawyer was working with the state. They got this forced immunity thing. They felt, I think they thought the lawyer should have made it so that he didn't have to testify. You know what I'm saying? I heard the family saying stuff, and, and I'm not going to say it on here because of what it is. I heard him saying stuff. It seems like they wanted that lawyer to get him out of having to testify. He's not, his testimony is not as important as Kenneth Copeland is to this whole case, right? He's, they wanted him to come up there and talk about something he already pled guilty to. They didn't need him for that, right? They, they already had Antonio Sledge talk about it. So they didn't need Quindary Zachary to talk about that. I think the family wanted it so he didn't have to testify. I don't think they wanted him to just get up there and do what he's doing. I think it like I think they wanted him to argue, what do y'all need him for? And I think they wanted their lawyer to argue that successfully. And he didn't. So the family is looking at it like, man, get rid of him. We don't want him no more because he didn't do what we thought he should have did. Uh, yes, his family was there. It was all women, though, from what I could tell. All women, so I couldn't tell exactly who was who. Pink of Justice said, the sister said the daddy cuts love out. Okay, the sister came after the grandma funeral. Yeah, the sister actually did come late. She came in the afternoon. So, okay, I didn't realize their grandma funeral was today. Um, they said he re they released him to his mom, so that's good news right there. Annabelle Coco, his sister came up there with Tori. Who is Tori? Tell me, somebody let me know who Tori is, because I I'm I'm trying to think. There was a lady there, and I was trying to figure out what she thug sister. But tell me who Tori is, because um I don't I don't know as many of these people as I. Coco said, yeah, because from what they have shown us, the witness before he thought he was really getting mistreated. Okay, that's good. Let me see. Brina said, said like and subscribe to regular podcast, can build up his following his content and and coverage is articulate, intelligent, and sensible. Let's help him grow. I appreciate that. Please like the video. Please subscribe. I appreciate all the views. 200 people live doing right now is amazing. Pinka Justice said, she said on Taylor Live that love is lying. Coco said, and that is crazy to lock him up based on something someone else com someone else's conversation. That's facts. Baby K said, how did the sister react when a lawyer said he's an addict? She she didn't um she didn't have like a negative reaction. She was still sitting next to me when that was said. I think I think she was with that type that line of of conversation because she was thinking I think that saying he's an addict was going to help lean towards getting it so he don't have to testify. So I think the sister I don't think she had a problem when he said that. She well not I don't think she didn't show any signs of having a problem when he said that. Vanderveer said they said he planned on pleading the fifth. Yep. But the but that's the thing. The type of immunity that they that he was able to get is the same type that Kenneth Copeland got, which was that 24-5-507, which removes pleading the fifth. You can't do it. But um I'm I'm interested to know why the family was so against him testifying when he seems to be okay. Not not okay health-wise, but he he seems to not have a problem answering these questions like he's not struggling he's not having a hard time remembering he's like whatever yeah you know what i'm saying so he seems cool to me i, I think he pretty he's okay all right um oh let's see let's see um coco said pink we know love good for that justice for love's chair said i stand i stand m stewart said good evening qz made love's job easy today compared to uh woody and Monk Tunk facts. Uh, Pink of Justice said he was calm, but he was still giving her a run for her money. Yeah, he was saying some stuff, but he was actually answering the questions, though. Coco said, yeah, he's doing a much better job. Ray Dog said, nah, he said in the interview, Yak, Shannon, and Nard killed Nut. Yeah, he said a lot of wild stuff back then. Ray Dog said, and he said, Yak told him at Thug's house on that night. It's going to be cold-blooded. It's going to be cold-blooded when they get that interview to plan. Um, Love wanted him for the part of putting Stillwell in. Yeah. And he uh, he disproved that part. The problem is that he's claimed it was what he heard. Ray Dog said we caught nut down bad is what he said in the interview. Yep. Michelle Cohn, that man needs glasses. Yeah, he said he can't even see Shannon Stillwell in the courtroom. He like, I can't see nobody here. I just got out the hospital. <laughs> Michelle said, and he knew it was a Q50. 
Well, he said he knew it was a Q50 because the day before the murder, Woody came and picked him up and they was driving around together to go meet some females. So he was in the car. So he never act like he wasn't in the car. He said he was also in the car when it spun out and crashed and they put the bumper back on the car. So that wasn't no issue. Ray Dog said you could tell when he said it was forced that my bad was too quick. Yep. The jury not going to unhear that facts. A lot of people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even want to repeat that. But yeah, Vanderveer. A lot of people this nut in this case. Yep. That was the moment we were waiting for. Coco, he trying to get the truth out. Pink of Justice said he did. But according to several people, was facts. I think all this is going to come out when the defense present their case. Still keeps asking about those wiretaps. Coco said if he would have said he knew they was in a relationship, firsthand knowledge, it would have stayed on record. He did say that. He said that's well, he no, he did say uh other little D told him that. So yeah, you're right. You're right about that, Coco. Pierce said that's the next best meme for sure. Ray Dog said, he said Lil D told me. Hearsay response. Yep. Annabelle, that's why they keep trying to keep his dad out the courtroom and keep him away. I think his dad came in there today. His dad showed up before everybody, uh, before like this morning. He showed up before everybody else got there. I'm pretty sure that was his dad. I don't know for sure, but I I think it was him. He came in there very briefly. I don't know if somebody asked him to leave or what. Before before Lil D came out there to testify. Here's something that wasn't on camera. Before Lil D came out there to testify, the lawyer, Mr. She, Mr. Scheib, came over to where the public was sitting and said, hey, Quindaria Zachary's family. He talking to all of them at once. We can all hear him. He's saying, be calm. Do not react to anything. He told them that. He said, don't react at all to anything. So, you know, I don't, he didn't give them a reason. He just said, be calm. Don't react. That's what he told him. Don't react to nothing. So that was an interesting thing that, that happened in front of everybody. He didn't pull him to the side or nothing. He said it in front of everybody. Don't react. Okay. Pinker Justice said, when Gaither was on the stand, Glanville wouldn't allow him to get into any of this. Yep. Michelle Cohn said, I, I mean, Gaither did get promoted based on avoiding areas with 911 calls. Yep. Annabelle, I can't wait for the defense to bring this up. Coco said, yep, I want them to get to this. She was supposed to recuse herself from the whole investigation with the personal connection. Yep. Uh, M. Stewart said, love creates so much chaos in the courtroom daily. She does nothing straightforward, trying to divert everything to meet her needs. Yes, Garlington lived with Gaither and his aunt. That's crazy. Um, Pika Justice said, the sister said he released him to his aunt with his mom with an ankle monitor. Yep. Coco said, how is that lead? Oh. Dang. How is that even legal? And these comments is coming. Judge always wants to leave. Okay. Hold on, hold on. You said, Coco, am I going back on Monday? Now I can't go back on Monday. I actually, uh, I do one day in the office a week. And that, uh, Monday is my day in the office. I might go up there on lunchtime just to see who I could see. Because I do, I don't work that far from um, from the courthouse. Coco said, do you miss up north? I'm up north and what they doing out there is crazy to me. Um, I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, I guess I miss it a little bit. I don't really miss it. I just miss the people. But uh, Annabelle said, I just asked her who you are. Right. Annabelle is the plug for Miss Sylvia. Coco said, no, I said he needs to back up. Byron off. OK. M. Stewart said, do you think Judge believes half of what love says? I don't think. No, I don't. I think, like I told y'all before, or like I told the people who was paying attention before, I think the judge not giving a mistrial in this case is completely political. I think it's completely about making sure Fonnie, because Fonnie Willis is the one who overall will make national headlines if Young Thug gets off this case. And I'm saying Young Thug specifically because that's the, the national headline. Young Thug beats the case from the you know, black lady DA that was attacking him for no reason types. It'll say something crazy like that. Uh, Love and Hilton will go into oblivion. People won't remember them. Everybody will remember Fonnie Willis going after Young Thug and Young Thug beating it. So, yeah, I think that that that's what Whitaker is fighting against. It's a political thing. Freddie Bands Gang said, if he lied about who killed Nut, can I say he don't know now? He has to spill it all. Yeah. The, the difference between him is... 
Quindaria Zachary is not bound by factual acknowledgments where he has to agree with what he said before. He didn't take no oath to say, I'm going to repeat the same thing I said no other time. He didn't sign no agreement saying that he will. So he's good to, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. He's good to lie. He can lie if he want to. This is like, he, he don't have the, he don't have a plea deal binding him to saying the same thing that he said before. Right. That's how I put it like that. Paris Weinstein wants exact timestamp. You can email it to him. Right, Annabelle. Let, uh, let her know he want the link. Link to what? Because someone who isn't a lawyer was gassing the family up. Very mindful. <laughs> That's funny. Very demure. They had unrealistic expectations if they thought he wasn't going to have to testify. I think they thought the medical condition, because medical, because they just um, talked about somebody today. They had a medical condition, and it did get them away from being able to testify. Uh, Miss Hilton actually released the person and told them, "You can go home. We don't need you." So it it has worked, but I guess not for him because he's too integral to this case. Vanderveer said he didn't have to testify. He could have played the fifth and went to jail. Uh, Pinker Justice said he couldn't do that. He also let the judge know several times that Love was giving him the runaround and basically ignoring him, and the judge wasn't listening. Also, y'all heard what Lil D said. He like, I'm not tripping on going to jail. I did nine years. Like, I don't care about going to jail. Like, if I didn't want to testify, I wouldn't testify. Y'all could have locked me up. I wouldn't have cared. So he's saying, like, I he's saying I'm not testifying because I'm scared to go to jail. He's saying I'm testifying because I always was cool testifying. It don't matter to me. Y'all, that's what he said at the end of the day. He telling the judge, like, y'all holding me because because of what my dad said. I'm never was tripping on testifying. So, yeah. Vanderveer said he was telling in the interview now he has to take the stand. Very mindful. There's no way Judge Whitaker was going to agree. He was not needed as a witness. Ray Dog says, Zachary is just an, uh, is just as important, bro. He said, Yak and Shannon told him we caught. Yep. That's the sister who... Came late. Tori is her name. Oh, okay. Oh, Tori is Thug's sister? Okay, I think I think that's who I saw. I held the door for her. She didn't say thank you. So I, I remembered her. Locked her in. I'm assuming this is who I'm who I'm um I'm thinking about. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm you know. Um let me see. Free Jeff. Yeah, that was probably Thug's older sister. I can't remember her name, not Dora Dolly. No, Tori is Quint Quindary Zachary's sister. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. They probably had an issue with him testifying because it may put his life in danger. Coco said, I'm glad he's okay. We can't put nothing past love or her organization. Um, yes, ma'am. I'm going to let her know. He's trying to tap in, pick a justice from, from listening to the sister. I think he just didn't want to do anything with it and everything he is speaking on the stuff he heard, not what he knows. Ray Stiles, snap. They're probably afraid if something would happen to him. The defense would probably make his dad a witness. Annabelle, I doubt it because his mother who was because his mother was who passed away. I thought it was his grandmother. I'm confused. Is this the little D. Willie birth? Because I think, look, no, no, no. The Mickey and Garlington is the one that that Woody said was his son. That's a different little D from Mechanicsville. D. Dodson said, I'm still confused about these plea deals with factual acknowledgments that are written specifically for this case. Hit the like, please. Thank you, Coco. Tyree said, love was making a lot of sense, but she lost all her points based on her ignorance. You um, need a Sim said, yes, Dennis part of those charges against Sylvia. Oh, you think Dennis was the one that was uh, reporting her and all that? Dynasty Gross said, I'm from Youngstown. What's going on? What part of Youngstown are you from? I'm from the north side. I'm a Crandall Ave kid. You know what I mean? I'm really, you know. You need a Sim said, Dennis a little ish. Coco said, I think it's political prosecution too. Um, B.R. Butler Law said, ain't that where Carlissa from? Yes, that's where Carlissa from. Blueface was actually born up there. Carlissa is actually from Youngstown, Ohio. Um, Blueface went to like kindergarten and first grade in Warren, Ohio. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where Carlissa from. That's funny that you brought that up, Butler Law. Um, you need a for sure. Sucker Free said, how's he drinking lean? But he says sickle cell. He's not an angel. <laughs> what? Um, you need to say, oh, that's who wanted to go outside. Makes sense. Marcella Smith said, praying for thug, God sees and knows everything. Please fix this, Father. They really not take, not talking about thug. It seems like they're talking about everybody else. Mistrial, Tyree said, mistrial, no mistrial. Fani has, will lose the case. 
perhaps. That's how I was looking. Ray Dog says Zachary is hurting the defense with his testimony, regardless of what he says. At least Woody was relatable and has some type of emotion attached. Paris of Love and Faces. Ape Baboon says 100% politics. Pika Justice said, That's why I can't figure out why Fani is going through with this trial. This isn't a good look for her. And she is the one everybody is blaming. Um, Coco said, holding him for nothing, basically. Yep, pick a justice, right? And the judge was shocked about him saying he didn't care about going back to jail. You need to say Dennis ish with a lot of people. Pick a justice said, Tori is little D's sister. Beck said, Tori is quick QZ sister. Thug's sister, also there every day. Yeah, she probably was there. Dolly. Annabelle said, Dolly doesn't come up, but Thug, other sister, does come up with Mama Duck. Stacy said, you're right. Very mindful said, the cross-examination will connect the dots, just like with Woody. I can't wait until they cross-sprinkle. Pink adjuster, Quindary Zachary, grandmother passed away in her funeral was today. The sister and them came to court after the funeral. Annabelle said, I was making reference when you said you thought it was Lil D dad who was there. And I said, I doubt it because it was his mom. No, I'm saying there was a man that showed up there very kind of animated talking to the family. They, but he didn't stay, though. He left. So I'm, I'm, I was wondering if that was his dad that was in there. He came in there and he like he was kind of animated and he seemed to be referencing Mr. Zachary. But I couldn't really hear exactly what he was saying. But I know that he was it, it seemed like that. Dynasty, you from you from Westlake? Wow. I wonder who you is. What's your name on Facebook, bro? All right. We'll get back to that. Um, shout out to the whole West Lake, all that. Um, shout out to my people um, from up that way. Paris said, I'm um Paris said, that's why I want Ashley Merchant up there to talk about the plea deal next time. But sh- hey, P- uh, Dynasty, though, shout out to the whole north side, though. Anyway, you know, that's how that's how I gotta go. I've been up out of Youngstown for like since 08. You know what I mean? But I go back. You know, touch the people, make sure make sure it is what it is. Coco, I really want them to find a way to bring Howard in. Still said he was going to bring Howard in if they keep on talking to Sprinkle about different stuff. Um, you need a sim say you did a good job recapping this week. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Free Bands Gang said, is Garlington testifying? Garlington has to testify. I don't know how he gets around it. I don't I don't think he's there's no way he getting around it. You need a sim said his name is on his tube. Nothing to watch. Pink adjuster said Coco. I believe still brought up calling him as a witness when it's their case in chief. Yeah, he did bring it up. Well, he actually said if they keep on asking Sprinkle some of the stuff they've been asking him, I'm gonna call Paul, Paul Howard, and we're gonna talk about why this case sat for seven years unindicted. All right, y'all. I went way longer than I expected to go. Um, y'all really rock with me. I appreciate it. The views is up. Oh, Ray Dog said Garlington is on the other case. He can't testify without a plea offer. When you say on the other case, you mean he's a uh, he's indicted on this, but he hasn't gone to trial yet. Is that what you mean? Coco said Pink. Yes, he said he might call Howard. I think uh, I think they could call him just from the grounds. All this case, okay. Eight Baboon said I missed the last couple hours today. What did he fire his attorney? Yeah, he fired his attorney, and he said that this family. Felt like he wasn't doing a good job, pretty much, is what he was saying. 